freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. everybody welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching do appreciate it hopefully everyone is okay it is a Thursday for us and we're just coming off here um, and heading towards Castle Kerry also it says Wincanton there quick question oh hello naughty boy is the company Wincanton from the place Wincanton I actually don't know <laughs> just thought I'd uh, throw that question in there but yes hello welcome to the channel hopefully everyone is okay for those of you who don't know, my name is Luke, I drive a truck for a living, driving all over the UK, and I like to vlog my uh, my goings, what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I'm hauling, and today we are hauling bolt bags. We've got 25 bolt bags for Honington, which I think that's Devon, isn't it? So we are heading to Devon at some point uh, this afternoon, um, but we've also got 12 bolt bags for a place in... Castle Carey, I think it's pronounced. We're about five miles away, so we're not too far away. Um, the Newt, or something it's called. The Newt in Castle Carey. But we've got to go in uh, to, the, to a farm to do the delivery and not the actual place. Which apparently, it's just past it. I made a phone call earlier. It's just past it, and uh, the farm's on the left-hand side. So, yeah. That is what we're doing today. I don't know what we're loading with later. Not a clue, but obviously, as per usual, we will find out. First thing we've got to do is go get this delivered. We'll be there in about 10 minutes. So, something just happened. <laughs> it was off camera, but uh, there was a lorry coming the other way with um, like a, one of those big old massive caravans on, so it was a wide load. And uh, its escort vehicle pulled up in the middle of the road. This lorry pulled over to the left, I pulled over to the left. There was a car in between us. Decided to, nah, I'm just going to overtake the lorry. And then uh, nearly got took out by the bloody lorry carrying the house um yeah stupid two lorries are pulled over for a reason uh they just assumed ah let's go around it <laughs> anyway the newt is this place right here i don't even know what it is it's like some sort of posh garden is it i guess it's uh i don't know <laughs> some posh garden i think it's this place here on the right we're delivering um 12 bags to them. Looks like a place you can walk along and stuff. Uh, what we are, what are we doing? I think it's um, bark or something, Com compositing bark, I don't know. But um, we've been told not to go in there because that was the, that was my question. So there's two entrances from what I could see for this place. There's one entrance here on the right where this hut is. Um, and I believe it was said gate one, the Newton Somerset. So it says go straight on for the new blur, which is where we're delivering. That's what that brown sign said. So yeah, there's one gate there. So I was wondering whether we had to go in there. I can tell you now, absolutely not. Couldn't get a lorry in there. And uh, the other entrance is up here and turn right at the crossroads and going that way. But we've been told to go left at the crossroads. We're going to a farm, um, literally a mile away from where we are now. So it must be like the holding area for the produce. That's what I, what I imagine anyway. So we want to go left here, we're starting the gating. Yeah, we are going to the Newton Somerset, which is right, but we're going left. Ooh, that's tight. We are going left. Left, 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 left. Lovely jubbly, and then it's literally half a mile up the road here. Somewhere near that digger over there. Hopefully it's all open. The bloke I spoke to said he could be in a meeting later, so don't call him back. 
but he's the contact name and number on the paperwork. He said when we go in here, just go go to the office. So we've got to try and find an office when we get in. Just over this crest of the hill and on the left. Won't indicate yet. Now it'll indicate. Here we go. Yeah, this turn in here. It looks massive. I've got to try and find an office. Definitely a wide turn. Definitely a wide turn to get in here. Avalon Farm, that was it. That's where he said to head to. Who do I speak to? I have flashed you. No, you're not going. Okay. Site office and delivery straight on. No idea where I'm going. Vans and small deliveries. I have not got a clue where they want me to go. I think someone's coming over to me. So yeah, someone's walking over to me now. Ugh. Definitely a high-vis job. Sorry, mate. I got 12 bolt bags of uh, composted fine bark it's for the for the Newton Somerset. That's for us, I think. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a way of getting them off, or do we have to do? You it? have to get them off. Right. Yeah. Uh, basically, going to go down yep. there. Left then right. Yeah, left and right. So yep. you can get as far down there as possible. Right now, about the. All right, mate. Um. Yeah, it's never good when they say, do you have a way of getting it off yourself? Um, I think I would indicate they don't have uh, the tools. Uh, yeah, we can get around here, no problem. Not sure we can squeeze through that gap though. It's a bit snug. He just sort of said, get as far down here as you can. <laughs> can I get back out down here? That's the question. Looks like could potentially be a turn in the circle, not sure. No, there's not a turn in the circle. On, I'm looking on Google Maps, this is a big open square apparently, but no. Well, how, how far does he want me to go down? I could keep going, but like, he's walking down now. Oh, it looks like a jet wash there. Tell me as it's off there, annoying. Yeah, I think it'll probably just go there. Yeah. Um, he's just gone to get the forklift. Okay. So wherever, wherever works best for you, really. So he wants it there, does he? I think it'll just go up against the wall, basically. What's it, what sort of forklift is it? Like a tiny one or like a big... A small one. Teleander or... No, no, like a normal... Like forklift. a normal forklift. All right. One. Just so I give him room, that's all. No, uh, how do I... Is there a way to spin around somewhere or...? Right, okay. Uh, I, yeah, to kind of come up here and then back yeah, I think that'd be the best bet. Yeah. So if I, I'll probably spin around now and then face that way, then you could probably unload me on the air or something. Yeah, all right, I'll do that. I'll let that van through first. It's a bit snug. All right. We can try and spin around. I like to face back out. 
normally you don't want to try to spin around whilst loaded, but actually we are in incredibly light. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, um, I'll pull up here on the left. He can do the right-hand side. In fact, actually, because they, they might be quite light, I might be able to move them all over um, for him, which will save him a job. Or save me a job having to move over. But we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. I think that'll do the lovely. Right, Brilliant, thank you, mate. I'm going to be about five minutes or so undoing the net, so no rush. Right, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, let's get the, the straps off, the net off, and I'll show you the load. Okay, we are on top of the trailer, net is off, strap is off, straps are off, net is off, I should say. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we've got tabs to come off, ten of, uh, sorry, two have come off already, so ten left to go. Another one heading off. Yeah, we're in like a, there's a little bit of, of a windy gully, it's a bit windy. I don't know if you can hear it or not. But uh, yeah, not too bad. I'm definitely starting to need another haircut again. <laughs> okay, one more to come off on this side and then we're gonna move over the other side to, uh, to take the rest off. Lovely, we're down on the floor now, two more to go. And then we'll be done. That's for the, uh, for Honington. Okay, net is back on. We're good to go. So we've got 25 bags now for, uh, for the next place. I'm gonna lie, I wanna be a little bit nosy. <laughs> I wanna see what's down here. That's what we just did there. I thought this driver's gone now. I just wanna be a bit nosy. Looks like there could be a good view over here. Got some cows over there, look. And uh, potentially a nice view over here. Yeah. Could be a good view for a house, couldn't it? Right, let's jump back in the truck. Right, we're tipped. Put the paperwork away. Destination into the sat nav. So now we're going to MKN Building Supplies. EX141DS. Gloucester Crescent. That is where we're going. We just need to make sure we're going to the correct place. Devonshire Road, up to Gloucester Crescent. And that is where we want to be. Excellent, right, so I'm just putting into the sat nav now. It's gonna calculate a route. It's a bit hot in here. Okay, right, so we're an hour away. Off the A30. Lovely, looks easy enough to get to. Brilliant, cool. Right, so we are now gonna make our way there. First, we need to get out of here. So, let's get on out of here. Yeah, I'm about to take my hoodie off because I was very, very hot. Right, hopefully no one's blocked us in so we can't get back out. <laughs> yeah, it's all looking good. Just go out of here slowly in case there's a car coming. It's all clear. Nice and wide. Lovely. Um, it's okay, so we're going left out of here. We come from the right-hand side, so um, yeah, we're going to be going out a different way. Sometimes when you go to the next destination, you go back via the route you just come, so you know the road's like safe for you. Whereas this way, we have no idea. I'm going to assume it's going to be fine. You know, there's a lorry coming that way for starters. But um, it is a main A road, so 
should be absolutely fine all clear let's go let's go 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 baby yeah so we should have this off well we'll be there for just before one o'clock hopefully we get it off half past one ish something like that um and then i don't know what's planned from there no idea from Honington. might be sent back up to bristol to get some pallets potentially from maven mouth um or could be something back in westbury to pick up before Yeovil, I don't know, no idea, we'll have to see. I would, I'm would. gonna guess it's pallets. That would that would be uh, most likely, I think, be pallets picking up, but it could be anything. It might be go straight back to the yard. Got no idea, absolutely zero clue. All I know is we're gonna crack on, get this tipped, and, uh, and then we'll find out where we're going. So I'll see you when we get there, see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, you join me in Honington where it is spitting. It was a little bit heavier about 20 minutes ago, um, but it's eased off a little bit. It does look like it's going to continue spitting, I think. So we may get a little bit wet, uh, particularly when doing the net up, because you've got to roll it up and then to carry it, it's sort of on your knees. Um, so yeah, it's going to get a little bit wet. Hopefully we can get straight, uh, straight in and unloaded. It is uh, just shy of five to one. No, sorry. It is 10 to 1 currently. We will be there just shy of 5 to 1. We're coming off here. We're only a mile away now. Um, as I said earlier, I don't actually know what we're doing from here. If I had to guess, I would say go pick up some pallets from somewhere. That's my guess. Um, but it could be anything. We will find out uh, in the next few minutes. But first, let's uh, at least arrive to our destination. off here okay we want it to be clear on the right it is not clear yet Okay, now it's clear, now we can cross. I left, uh, just flashed to let them both out, but that blue car don't want to move, so we uh, we shall continue. I want to go right at this roundabout. We are taking up two lanes, they're quite narrow lanes. Where's this lorry going? You're not indicating. we go thank you very much okay then we want to bear left here there's an mkm truck that's a good sign one of their own trucks just left that means uh, there's more room for us inside <laughs> but also it could mean that uh, another delivery driver has just gone in potentially we'll find out i've never been here before so this is new to me this place And left here, lots of left turns. All clear on the right. Let this van come on down. And there we see an MKM sign up there, look on the top left. Thank you. That is where we're delivering to. Looks like we take a left, then a left again. More lefts. Could potentially park up here for the night. If, uh, if I was ever up this way, or down this way, I should say. Once these cars go, because they'd probably all go come five o'clock. Food for thought. I may save it as a place to park. Lovely, right, I can't see anyone in there, but we're not just gonna drive in. We must report to yard foreman before entering site. So that is what we'll do. We'll just park up here, quickly go speak to someone and uh, get let in. Let's go do that.
Okay, so it is a drive-in reverse out jobby. Uh, there's only like a small van in there at the moment. So they're gonna get that moved out of the way and then they'll get me in. But I will start unstrapping while we're waiting. Obviously it's still held together by the, uh, by the net. Let's get my gloves. Well, ratchet's on the other side, Luke. <laughs> Straps are still on, but the ratchets are off. But that saved us a couple of minutes. Okay, let's drive on in. I don't know whether they want me to park right next to it or not, or wait. Thought they were telling me to carry on, so I will. We park in the middle, so that when he goes, there'll be room for me to be tipped then. Lovely, 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 lovely. Job is a good one. Right, let's get this offloaded, find out where we're going next. Right, straps off, net off. Just waiting now to be tipped. Here we go, so yeah, we're just waiting for this to come off. We have found out where we're going next. I just need to work out something. Just jump in the truck. Okay, so we've been told to head back to Tedbury, which is here. They won't load after half past four. I've got to see if we can get back in time. But we do need a 45 minute break. I can't see me being tipped in 15 minutes. Need a 45 minute break. Plus 15 minutes tip here is an hour, so that's half past four. So I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Obviously, I try what I can. Um, yeah, this isn't one of those sites where you can have a break whilst they're tipping you because I need to be out there with a pole lifting the bags up. So you can't have a break here. We'll try, we'll try. But uh, hmm, whether we make it back or not, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. Okay, he's just taken one off. You can see him there. He's taking them off and he's got them all the way down there. So it's taking a good minute a bag, maybe a minute and a half. And it's starting to rain as well. Yeah, so it is raining a little bit. Nothing, uh, nothing too much, but just a little bit over. <laughs> I am sad enough to time how long it takes to take a bag off, take it, come back, get another one. And uh, it's taking 90 seconds, so a minute and a half a bag. Uh, 25 bags. What's that going to be? That's going to be 25 add 13. So, like, about 40 minutes? No? 30 minutes. 35? About 35. This should take. Who knows? <laughs> what doesn't help is when vans park. That van just parked there. This is blocking it. it. Didn't affect us too much because he could tip us on the other side, but still, if this side was tipped, it would have slowed us down a little bit. But as it goes, it was all right, so never mind. Ah, tubing, I have an idea. Just put you there. Subscribe to Luxy in a HDV. Sorry, I saw that and just, I had to do it. <laughs> okay, one more left to go. Just this one here. This beauty of a bag. And then we can get on. Um, it is just gone two o'clock in the afternoon. It's a good two hours and 20 minutes back to Tetbury, so that's 20 past four. Plus we need a break, so. Cut was at half past four as well, so. We're not making it to Tetbury, so I need to <laughs> inform the boss on the way. He might divert me somewhere else, I don't know, so. Let's see. Right, we are tipped, we are empty, we are ready to go. Thank you, mate, appreciate it. We've now got to get on out of here. We've got a banksman watching us back. Standing in the 
gates. Could be quite a tight one this. Be big headed, but I get that a lot. Well, you've done that before, didn't you, mate? Or oh, that was good. Normally, people take a couple of shunts, not often it happens in one go. I get it quite a lot, it's mad. I keep accidentally muting my microphone, it's really annoying. Right, microphone is on. Yeah, you can go. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so you probably didn't hear what the uh, what the guy said because it was running off the audio was running off this GoPro next to me. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, he said, uh, "Oh, you've done that before, mate." <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's quite it's quite often that happens without being big headed, but it is, it is. Right, anyway, um, ETA to Tetbury is ten past four, but we need to have a break on the way, so it's going to put it at uh, not before half past four which is the cutoff, so I need to make a phone call and uh, find out if we are definitely still going back to Tetbury. And then we'll take it from there. So I'm gonna go, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we've stopped for our break. Uh, we're at Sledgemore Services northbound on the M5. Uh, we've, we're nearly done. We've got to have a few more minutes and then uh, it's about an hour and a half back to the yard from here. We will be going back to the yard. We won't get loaded at Tetbury in time. Um, so yeah, back to the yard tonight. Tomorrow I will go to Tetbury, uh, get loaded for Brighton, and then I'm loading at Shoreham uh, docks to come back up again. So nice, easy day tomorrow on a Friday, so that's lovely. Would have been nice if I got loaded today, because, um, yeah, it would have been... Well, I could have started earlier and finished earlier, basically. But never mind, it is what it is. Um, unfortunately, we've got to stop and have breaks when required. If it were me, I would have just carried on, but we can't. We've got to legally stop for break, so... Just here twiddling, on, twiddling our thumbs now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll see you when we get back in the yard. Um, it should be around about five o'clock, so not too bad, not too shabby. I'll see you there. Okay, uh, just like that, we are just around the corner from the yard now, parking up for the night. I'm gonna start indicating there's a car coming, wants to turn right, but can't. This lorry has come a little bit over. Lovely jubbly. This morning I come into work and um, <laughs> there were a load of trucks parked up along long here for some reason. A bit unusual. First time I've seen it. There's no lines to say. Yeah, there is. There are lines. So they shouldn't have been parked there, but they were. <laughs> but then again, I've parked on WLOs before overnight. So who am I just to, uh, to, to say they can't? Because I've definitely done the same in the past myself. <laughs> And uh, I won't apologise because why should I pay 35, 40 quid to parking services? Because that comes out of my own pocket. Uh, I get paid 26 pound for a night out. Why should I use that 26 pound and more to uh, to pay for par secure parking? But there's a risk of getting your fuel nicked and your load pinched anyway. I might as well just stay in industrial estates or laybys. So that's what I personally try to do. That's the whole different ramble that one is. Bloody. Yeah, services are way, way, way too expensive. Way too expensive. But yeah, we're here now, back in the yard, parking up for the night. Uh, it's pretty much five o'clock in the afternoon. We wouldn't have made Tetbury until like uh, 20 to five, quarter to five. And um, yeah, it wouldn't have been good enough. Thank okay. you. So my truck, the barrier opens automatically, but this one, it doesn't open. Got one of my colleagues behind in one of the IV codes. Don't know which one it is. Don't know whether it's Rich or whether it's Kieran. It's one of them. <laughs> Don't know whether the gate opens for them automatically either. 
So yeah, so that's the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Nice little trip down into Devon. Um, yeah, nice little drive. Tomorrow we're going down south. Hopefully it's nice weather. We'll have to wait and see, but that is a different story. I just got a message from my boss, I think. Yeah, just got a message from my boss saying what tomorrow's run is. My boss has a uh, a unique tone. <laughs> only only that tone goes off when he messages me, no one else. So that I know um, that it's the boss, basically. Yeah, Iveco is right behind me. Let's park up quickly. I need to go over a bit more. That was rubbish. <laughs> I think it's uh it's Kieran in there. We should try again on the good side. I'm rushing to try and get in quickly and I uh, completely messed it up. Here we go, we're in now. Lovely. <laughs> He's on the old uh, flatbed. Just checking the message from the boss. Hassocks. I reckon it's going to be the Downs Nursery. So it could be pallets, potentially. Potentially. We'll have to see. Anyway, so that is it. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've had a great time watching. I hope you have, anyway. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.